In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. This is the great feast of St. Scholastica, uh, the Benedictine foundress of the religious order for women, and the very sister of St. Benedict. Now, very little is known about St. Scholastica other than she was the sister, as we said, of St. Benedict and founded and governed a numerous community near Monte Cassino. In Monte Cassino in Italy there, it's very beautiful. I've been there many times, especially my way from Rome to Napoli. And it's just a beautiful area, uh, peaceful, prayerful, and beautiful. Now, a little bit that we know of her um, is expressed by St. Gregory the Great, of course, the big story about how she convinced St. Benedict to stay overnight instead of going back to the monastery. And she prayed for a big storm, and the storm came so he couldn't leave, and they were able to speak about God all night long. And so, therefore, that's very famous. Um... But also, he also says, St. Gregory the Great, that she devoted herself to God from her very childhood. And this is probably gives an insight of why St. Benedict saw when he looked out the window three days after that conversation with her all night, saw her going up, her soul going up into heaven in appearance of a dove. And we know that the Holy Ghost came down, descended upon Jesus during his baptism um, in a form of a dove. And so we can say that from her very early youth, she was imbued by the seven gifts of the Holy Ghost. Uh, she was such an instrument in allowing the Holy Ghost to do whatever the Holy Ghost wanted in her soul. And that's why she rose to such great sanctity. And that's why she appeared like a dove when her soul was going up to heaven when she died. Now, she died at 63 years of age. She died in the year 543. Now, the days following her death, it seems as though St. Benedict could not console the sisters um, and also the brothers of the monks. And Alban, Alban Butler, in his Lives of the Saints, gives us this, these words of St. Benedict as he tried to console them. St. Benedict said, Weep not, sisters and brothers, for assuredly Jesus has taken her before us to be our aid and our defense against all our enemies, that we may stand in the evil day and be in all things perfect. And so this was supposed to console uh, these orphans of the, of the community of sisters. But now could you imagine, now that we not just have St. Scholastica, defending us and praying for us, but also St. Benedict himself. So he later on joined uh, that route of going to, to Jesus. So therefore we have these two great uh, benefactors, these two great saints that are protecting us, praying, interceding for us against our worst enemies. And what are these enemies that we have to watch out for? As the old saying goes, we ourselves are our worst enemies. Uh, our pride, our vanity, our sensuality, our, our laziness. Uh, these things we have to fight against each day. And if we have Saint Scholastica praying for us, then we're able to be able to forego so many pitfalls when it comes to these temptations of selfishness but there's also other enemies too that we have to watch out for especially errors heresies schisms and i cannot sound the alarm enough in this last point there's too much of this going on uh, the church is being rent asunder 
by these erroneous attacks, these assaults, these deceits, these shady deals, and everything absolutely unchecked. <laughs> this is what gets my goat, you know, it's just too much of this going on, and there seems to be no defense mechanism. So many souls are falling into hell, thousands, hundreds of thousands abandoning the truth, abandoning the spiritual life, abandoning Christ. And so you may say, well, we have this great uh, monastery here, and so we should be A-OK. -okay. Uh, but watch out, even. We have to pray for their protection. Pray for St. Scholastica to protect this monastery. I remember reading an article back in 2014, I think it was, in 2015, uh, when those poor cloistered nuns... A habitless nun from the hippie era, and and there she was investigating these full habited, silent, prayerful nuns all day long, uh, and the result of that, uh, they were pretty blistered after that. Uh, many of them left out there, trying to save their vocations from being attacked. Oh, hopefully, God forbid, none of that will happen here uh, to us. Uh, but we have to be careful uh, because the enemies uh, could all of a sudden appear and, and things could happen. So we ask St. Scholastica and St. Benedict uh, to help us against these enemies. As we continue this holy sacrifice in the Mass, um, let us renew our trust and our faith that our sister, our mother, Saint Scholastica, uh, her soul was brought up into heaven in the form of a dove. Let us also, as we receive communion, commit ourselves to, to work on that holy innocence and that purity and that love, that pure faith that characterized so much her wonderful and glorious life. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen.